Hey everyone, my name is Karen Gunton and I have the Lighthouse Revolution. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this idea of self-leadership because uh, when I first started um, talking about the Lighthouse, I shared it because it was a symbol for me. It was something that really um, was a powerful symbol, something that inspired me. When I first came across the quote from Anne Lamont, it says, Lighthouses don't go running all over an island looking for boats to save. They just stand there shining. And I saw that and I thought, oh, yes, that is how I want to feel. That's what I want to do. That's what I want for myself. And at the time, I was feeling stuck, lost. I lost my mojo. Um, I wasn't really in the greatest place. I didn't know what I should focus on. I was just not really happy. And I didn't know what to do to change things. And I saw that quote and I thought, yes, that is what I want for myself. And so I kind of began this quest, you know, to um, think about what it would mean to ignite my light, ignite my spark and feel ignited and excited again. And that led me eventually to starting the Lighthouse Revolution as I realized over time that there was more to it than feeling ignited. And that's where the framework of the Lighthouse comes from because um, there are seven components and every component matters. So my own journey was about exploring what ignites me and lights me up and um, sharing it with others, being of service to others and building something that I love, you know, something that really is a life that I love and work that I love. Um, but then it also included things like working on my mindset and really working on my own resistance and my blocks and all the stuff that had me feeling stuck and, um, you know, making my way through the darkness and feeling like I was connected to something bigger than me. And eventually, you know, that became the seven components of the lighthouse and the lighthouse revolution. Um, but just recently, I've been really intrigued and inspired by this idea of self-leadership because... The more I think about it, the more I think that that's actually what the lighthouse is. It's a framework for self-leadership. And it's taken me, I've been talking about this lighthouse stuff for a long time now. That quote first inspired me in 2012. Oh, gosh, I can't even believe that. It's been almost five years of this journey of, you know, from feeling lost to feeling like I'm me again. And I found myself again. And I'm doing the things that I love. And don't get me wrong, I am still in the middle of this. I'm still working on this intensely. Um, I don't think you ever stop building your lighthouse. Um, but at least I have the framework now. I have the I have the um the path, I have the map, the blueprints to help me to do that work. And and that's really why I'm so passionate about sharing the lighthouse with people because I want everybody to have the framework. I want everyone to be able to, you know, build themselves a lighthouse so they can shine their light in the world, so they can be their highest and brightest self. So I'm kind of excited because I think um, this idea of self-leadership is a great way to describe what the lighthouse revolution is all about. To me, when I see that word, self-leadership, really, very simply, it's being a leader to yourself. It's rising up or speaking up or taking action or making a change by yourself, for yourself. That's what I think self-leadership is, is, is doing this, rising up and shining your light by yourself, for yourself. If you think about it, if you want to do something or create something or change something in your life or maybe start something new, or go after the thing that you want, go after your dreams, go after, explore your passions or your purpose, try something different, um, whatever it is you want for yourself. Um, no one's gonna come along and grab your hand and show you how it's done. And if you're ever feeling at all like I feel sometimes still and really felt in a big way when this journey started, like, man, there's got to be something more than this, right? Like, there's got to be something I'm missing here. Because I don't know that I want to spend every day feeling like this and doing this and, and staying stuck or stagnant or having no mojo or lost. You know, like, something's got to give here. Or, you know, that feeling of being stuck in procrastination, paralysis, or perfectionism where you want things, but you just can't seem to take any forward action or get anywhere, you know, and a whole year goes past and nothing's really changed. 
you realize you have the same res resolutions in the new year that you had for yourself the year before and nothing really changed. Or you find yourself saying things like, well, one day I'll do that. Or one day when I have more time or more energy or more money, or, you know, I found my thing, I'll do that then. Well, one day things will be different. You know, when's one day going to happen? What's that day going to be? So like I said, no one's going to come along and, you know, grab your hand and show you the way or take you on that path, kind of drag you along kicking and screaming. Though I know some of us hope that. I know I felt that way too. You know, you just wish somebody would just come and kick you in the ass and make you do it. You know, you find yourself talking to people about how you're stuck and how much things suck. And you just wish somebody would say, oh, for God's sakes, woman, come on, let me fix this for you. You know, we look for that magic bullet. We look for that person who's going to fix it all. But, you know, you've got to lead yourself. And that's why I think this idea of self-leadership is really powerful because there's no one else but you here doing this work. It's on you. And it really is your choice, you know? It's your choice. You don't have to take that path. You don't have to lead yourself anywhere. You can stay where you are. It's your choice. Um, you can stay stuck, stay safe, or stay small. You can just wait, you know, keep waiting for a better time, for more energy, for more money. You can choose, if you want, to just keep complaining or whinging or, you know, talking about how you're such a victim and poor me. My life sucks. You could keep dreaming and you could keep, you know, longing for things and wishing for things and setting those intentions and resolutions and goals and dreams and plans. You could do that and you can keep doing that until you feel ready. It's your choice. It's your choice. Or if you're ready, you could start actually taking your own path, forging your own trail, leading yourself and saying, all right, what are we going to do here? Something's got to give. And the only thing that's going to give is me. It's on me. Uh, but let's just make it clear, though. That is a choice. It's your choice. You have that choice. But own it. You know, if you're not ready to, you know, practice self-leadership, to be a leader to yourself and to, to do the work, that's fine. But own it. Say that out loud. Maybe one day, but not today. Not today. I've got to just own that choice. I'm not ready yet. Let's say you are ready. What do you do? What do you do to start practicing self-leadership? What do you do to actually, you know, take those steps and lead yourself out of the place where you are and towards the place you actually want to be? And that's why I think, as I said, self-leadership is about, you know, you, one thing I think is awesome about this idea is you actually get to take your path. You get to do your thing. You get to, you know, focus on your journey, your be beating the drums for your own thing without it affecting anyone else. It's on you and it's yours. And you might walk alongside someone else who's also on a, a self-leadership journey, but this is all you, it's yours. And that's awesome. You get to do it your way. I think it's about looking inwards, um, taking responsibility and ownership and saying, this is on me. I'm the only one that has the capacity to make a change here. I'm the only one that has the capacity to look at what I want and to choose a step and take it right or wrong, pass or fail. You know, we got to start taking steps, taking our own hand, leading ourselves forward. I think it's about prioritizing yourself. You know, it's about putting yourself first. It's about saying, I, this matters and I matter and what I want matters. And so I got to figure out how to do it. Fulfilling your potential or, you know, seeking your purpose or, you know, finding your passion and feeling lit up again. As I said, you know, being the highest, brightest version of yourself. Lauren's just added owning it and doing it without guilt and all those other feelings. Absolutely. You know, if it's what you want, you've got to own it. If you don't own it, why would anyone else own it? Why would anyone else support you or cheer for you or even try to understand what you want without owning it yourself? And I do think also, you know, exploring that guilt and all those other feelings is part of the journey. And that's why I actually love this Lighthouse framework. So here's some ideas. If you're ready to like do this self-leadership thing, you know, to say, okay, I am ready. I'm going to rise up by myself for myself. I'm going to take action. I'm going to do it for me. If you're ready to do that, here's some things to get you started. 
one thing you can do is look at the road so far. What brought you here? Because understanding your road so far can open up your eyes to the road ahead. So we seek understanding, we seek awareness, and we seek, um, you know, clues and signposts. And, you know, when you understand what brought you here, you can have a clear vision of where you're going. And that's the next thing I think you should do is have a vision. Like, what's your destination here? If you're if you're leading yourself on a path, if we're using this leadership analogy as like true leading, you know, you're walking the path and you're leading, um, have a destination. Know where you're going and why. Like, why does this matter to you? Because your why is what will fuel your tank. And it's important to know what fuels you, what lights you up, what fills up your tank, what makes you feel great, you know, what what gives you that energy and that passion and that purpose and that drive. Know yourself. Learning yourself is, I think, one of the biggest parts of this self-leadership journey because you need to know you. Like, what are your strengths? What are, you know, what do you value? What's your personality? Because anything else you choose has to align with that. Every step you take has to align with that. Um, so that's one place to start in the lighthouse revolution. I call that igniting your light. Start with you, you know, next is owning it. Like Lauren said, you know, own it. You have to say it out loud. This is what I want and say it out loud. If you can't say it, if you can own it by speaking up and being seen saying, Hey, like, this is me. And this is what I'm working on. This is what matters to me. This is the path I'm on. Um, if you can't speak it, speak up and say it out loud, um, it can be very, very hard to take this journey. So that's why um, when we talk about the lighthouse, the beacon is important. It represents us speaking up. Um, the next bit, I think, is about you know yourself and you know what you want and you said it out loud. How are you going to get there? You know, it is making those plans. What will be the steps you take? What will be the strategies? What will you focus on? What are you going to put into your little world that supports what it is you say you want? It might be about giving yourself permission. I'm going to do this. I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to say no to all of that stuff. I'm going to declutter it out of my lighthouse. I call this the tower of the lighthouse because it represents this tall thing that has to stand, you know, in alignment. And um, so you might need to declutter. You might need to kick some stuff out of there because it doesn't serve you and what you say you want. Another thing to work on is your mindset. This is your belief in yourself, your confidence, your worthiness, your valuing yourself enough. Being brave, as Lauren said, being brave, backing yourself, saying this matters to me, so I'm going to fight for it. Nobody else is going to back you if you don't back yourself. Again, self-leadership, you got to do it for you first. So fight for it. What is it you want to do? How will you fight for it? How will you be brave enough to take action and confident enough and courageous enough and worthy enough, knowing that you matter enough to take action? I call that the foundation of the lighthouse because, you know, without that solid foundation, everything else falls apart. You don't want to build on a wobbly foundation. So make it strong. Build up your confidence. Build up your belief in yourself. Um, build up your willingness to just be brave and give it a go. Another thing I think is really important on this journey is that we shine a light on the stuff that gets in our way. Let's be clear about it. There is going to be all sorts of crap that comes up and gets in your way. Any kind of stuckness, resistance, blocks, fears, worries, doubts, um, all of that stuff. That gets in our way. It just happens. It's part of the journey. In fact, the stuff that comes up as you lead yourself on this path to your destination, to, to the life you want and the person you want to be, the stuff that comes up in your path comes up for a reason. Because, you know, you're the leader here. You're like the warrior on this quest. And as you fight those dragons, as you overcome those obstacles, you grow. You become the best version of yourself. It's, the, it's going through that stuff that actually gets you through to the other side. So it comes up for a reason. So, you know, a willingness to explore that stuff. Be curious. Have fun. Let the, des the journey be as amazing as the destination is going to be. I call that the spiral staircase of the lighthouse. The lighthouse has this beautiful spiral staircase inside reminding us of the journey and that every little step we take 
takes us closer to the top. We don't have to climb this big ladder to get up there. You know, we can actually just take one little step at a time. We can explore whatever comes up in our way. Another thing I think is important, kind of along those lines, is understanding that, you know, this journey is, is going to be fraught with all kinds of darkness and shadows and storms and all sorts. And, you know, your willingness to just be in those places and then come back to your path. You might get off track. You might, you know, get away from what it is you say you want. Um, but you can come back. You can change directions. You can start again. You can come back to what you want. You can come back to yourself and you can um, keep going. And I call this the harbor of the lighthouse. The harbor reminds us that uh, we can come back to our light. We can come back to our lighthouse at any time. And it also helps if you surround yourself with an ocean of support. So if you feel supported, if you feel safe, if you feel like you have a sense of belonging, that can very much help you on your own self-leadership journey. And the last thing I think is important, and I have only have just begun to understand how important it is, and that is um, feeling connected uh, to something bigger than you, to your source, to your you know, inner guidance system, or to feeling guided by something outside of you. You know, whether you think of this as spirituality or a connection to your soul or to your purpose or feeling like the universe has your back. Um, that's important. And I think a lot of times we discount that. In fact, most of us do some of these really, really well. And others, not so well. They're not our strengths or they're not really in our, in our wheelhouse. And one of the reasons that I think this framework of the lighthouse is really important because it reminds us that all of them are important. So one of the things you can actually do is learn what you're naturally good at. And you can use that to help you on your journey of self-leadership. You can also learn what um, doesn't come naturally to you. So for instance, if speaking up doesn't come naturally to you, you can actually learn to get better at that. Or if you noticed that you know you don't feel at all connected to something higher than you, that you don't really have any kind of belief in something bigger than you or a spiritual practice or whatever that allows you to feel that connection, then that's something you can start to build in now because it makes a big difference. And if you have all of those components, if you have the whole lighthouse, the whole framework, you actually have everything you need to take your self-leadership journey. So that's my thoughts on self-leadership. A great way to keep exploring this and exploring yourself. I've got a free quiz over at my website, karengunton.com, and the quiz is called The Lighthouse Keepers. And what um, you'll do is you'll actually learn about your strengths and what comes naturally to you, what you're really good at, you know, in what way you're the keeper of your own lighthouse so that you can take the self-leadership journey and you can build on it. You can also learn about your weaknesses too. So that's a great place to start. You can um, do the free quiz. There's a free booklet there that you can read about um, each of the keepers and each of the components of the lighthouse and you can start to explore. And in that too, you know, there'll be some things that come up. Like if you are feeling like um, this, if you are feeling, you know, stuck in procrastination, here's something you can try. If you're feeling like it's scary to be visible or to be authentic or to, um, you know, speak up, you can start to practice some of the strategies in that booklet and build that up in yourself. I've also written this book, Lighthouse Revolution, and um, it goes into much more detail about each of the seven components of the lighthouse with um, lots of examples and stories. So that's another place that you can learn more about what it takes to be on this self-leadership journey and start to take it yourself and start to build your own lighthouse to help you. Um, and also as a way to sort of implement everything that's in here, implement what's in the free quiz and the free booklet, I um, do regular uh, Lighthouse Live challenges, which are all about making the map, creating the blueprints, actually working on each of those things that we talked about together with your specific dreams and goals and intentions in mind. So that's an idea for you as well. Um, you can join our free community, hashtag Lighthouse Revolution. Come on over and share. Um, what kind of lighthouse keeper you are, share what your strengths are, share what you're working on, share uh, about the journey that you're on right now. We'd love to support you. That's what we're there to do. Uh, we're each on our own journey. 
we're each taking our own path, forging our own trail, going to the beat of our own drum. That's what self-leadership is all about. But we can do it together. We can support each other. We can walk alongside each other. And when um, each of us rise, we help others to do that as well. When each of us rise up and shine our light in the world, we inspire others to shine as well. A rising tide lifts all ships. So let's keep rising. Let's keep choosing to take each step on this path, taking ourselves by our own hand and drawing ourselves forward to do the work. Because isn't it worth it? Aren't you worth it? I believe you are. And I hope that you'll make the choice that I'm making and that so many of us are making every day to um, rise up by yourself, for yourself, and take this self-leadership journey alongside us. All right, pop over to Lighthouse Revolution, hashtag Lighthouse Revolution, say hi, I'd love to meet you. And you'll find those freebies and the other bits and pieces on offer at karengunton.com. All right, thanks for popping in to find out more about self-leadership. If you have anything to add to the list, please share. If you have an idea of something that uh, needs to be in this framework, do share it. I'd love to hear from you. Um, wishing you amazing light on your self-leadership journey.